Hey guys, it's Miss Klingsick. So I am creating this video to show you how to use Spelling City. Um, Spelling City is going to be a new website that we're going to be using um, and we just got access to it, which I'm really excited about. Um, so this video is going to show you how to log into Spelling City and it's also going to show you how to navigate the web page and show you where to find the games, the practice and all those different things. Okay. All right. So um, you're just going to go to Spelling City. I have uh, attached the link here on my assignment in Schoology, um, but you can also just type in Spelling City um, to the internet and click on the first link. So I'm going to go here and it's going to bring you to this page and you should see, it should say login right here. Um, make sure that student is clicked. Um, don't click educator because you're not a teacher, um, but click on student. Your username is going to be your 1000 number and your password is going to be what you use with your 1000 number. So just like you would log into Schoology, just like you would log into um, a computer on, in, on campus, anything like that. Um, 1000 number here, your password here. Okay, so I'm gonna log in right now. Okay, and then once you are logged in, um, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to assign assignments um, for our weekly words. So these are the same words that we would use in stations during our stations time, um, but now we're going to be using them here in Schoology. We might still do a little bit in stations, but um, that's where these lists are coming from. So the same words that we would have done in stations time. Um, so if you notice, it says spelling words week of March 16th, um, and then we have five, zero of five. So that means I've assigned five things to you. I'm going to make them vary. So there might be phonics practice, there might be spelling practice, there's probably vocabulary, um, maybe a game. So lots of different things, um, but they're all fun and engaging. So you can choose any of them. So here we see four. You click over here and you can see the fifth one. You can choose which one you want to start with. Um, so I'm going to start with whichever one you want to do. So you just click it and it brings you to a new page. All right, and then it's gonna, sorry, it takes a little while. It's gonna push play. And it's just like a game. <laughs> so you can skip that. And so, Unfold. So it will read everything out loud to you. Um, so, you know, here's our word. That's one of our words that we have this week and you can highlight um, and it will, read out loud to you. So um, if you can't read the word, it will read for you. So, um, and then to get out of the game, you click on this arrow. And to, if you have a question, click that arrow. I'm going to get out of this. Okay. And so that's just one of the examples. So I'm going to push X. And then when you're finished, it will light up and it will say one of five. So that means you've done one assignment out of five of them. Okay. So that's kind of how that works. Okay. Now other things. So this is the homepage. There's also list and games. So these are the lists that I've assigned to you. So this week we're working on prefixes, prefixes, um, which is the chunk of letters before a word that changes the meaning of the word. We've talked about those before. So you can view the list to see the words we're going to be working on. You can listen to it. You can study. So these are different studies that you can use. You can give yourself a practice test and they have different practice ones. They also have vocabulary. And then there's the games. So maybe you've already played the game that I've assigned you and you want to play a different one. You can choose any of these games and they will help you with those spelling words. Um, so maybe you're struggling with them. You can choose any of these and practice as many as you want. And then finally, there's my records. You click on this. Um, and it will show you the activity that you've done. And then you can also look at the assignments that you've done. Um, and this will show you how many you've done. So to kind of, as we move on throughout the weeks, it will show you what you've completed. And that is Spelling City. Um, pretty simple to navigate, pretty simple to get out of, uh, to move around it. Um, but the biggest thing is remember, these are the assignments that I have assigned for you. Okay, so just to review, go to the link um, or go to spellingcity.com. From there, you will log in with your normal 1000 number and your regular 1000 number password. And then from there, you will see the assignments that I have assigned you. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or send me a message on Schoology. Um, but I hope you guys are excited. All right, bye.